Hello everyone and welcome for a quick look around the interior of this beautiful looking Bavaria 37 Cruiser to give you an idea of her layout and where things are, what's included, etc. So let's have a little look. So we're, as you can see, we're standing looking at the companionway, so very nice and easy to get in and out. We have handles, port and starboard as well to assist you and we have closing doors rather than a one-piece uh, washboard, which is great. As we come down, we can see we've got these angled steps as well and it is a one-handed effort to lift those up. Very nice and easy for access to the engine. Now that is a very, very clean and tidy engine room. Absolutely love it. Great access to the front, great access on the top, great access from starboard through the cabin hatchway here. And we even have a watertight access there from the heads compartment. So if we need to get to uh, the, uh, the starter motor, some of the electrics or the engine feet there, we should be able to get in no problem. Very nice and very well thought out. So let's close that gently. There we go. While we're down here, we can see the floor. Now it just looks absolutely gleaming. And everywhere you look, there are cutouts there for the bills they're all over the place we have cut out cut out cut out cut out one up there somewhere as well and uh, that really gives us great access to the build and i have to say um this just has taken the prize for my favorite build on a boat that i've seen yet in 10 years of brokerage this is the cleanest i've seen really absolutely gleaming now the the flooring is screwed down as you can see which i don't necessarily really uh, advocate but it does mean that the flooring doesn't creak it's really nice and solid underfoot and if you want to make your checks for instance uh, build pump suction there and uh, the uh, the keel bots under there then it means you can do so nice and easily but if we want to take lots of uh, flooring up then we do need to uh uh, unscrew a few bits and pieces but just uh, a small observation so let's carry on around here and look to the starboard side as we come down the ladder that brings us down to the aft cabin lovely great big cabin now obviously the head height here is compromised because of the the molding of the seating above in the in the uh, cockpit but you'll only ever have your feet down there anyway we've got a lovely wide double bed you can see uh, right the way through there it's really really wide really really long and you can see here we've got some cockpit cushions just stored for security down here we have a window inboard there to the cockpit which opens opens a window outboard there that doesn't open and an opening window up here all the windows have blinds on them so we can get some darkness if we're here in here if we want to nice and easy to keep clean as is the whole boat we've got shelves outboard uh, a good locker here with the hanging space and uh, and uh, drawer space there or shelf space and underneath here we've got the fuel tank we've got chlorophyll we've got a few of the bits and pieces but all looking absolutely fantastic and somewhere to sit to change as well and i did mention on the inboard side here we have got this hatchway to get access to the starboard side of the engine wonderful now coming out of here the first thing we see is all of this interior wonderfully appointed as it is but the first thing we see is a galley quite a conventional layout great to pass all the food and drinks out great to bring them back in again when they're finished you can see we've got lots of cupboards all the way around we've got uh, we have an oven here lovely and clean i doubt that's ever been used we have a hob here with uh, two burners there that may have been used once or twice work surface cupboards all the way over the top we've got a, a really deep looking fridge unit here we've got a twin sink unit here all lovely and clean absolutely wonderful and a microwave outboard there and an opening window above now uh, window wise we have lots on this boat loads of windows port and starboard open here lots of hatches above us as well well and these work these work so fantastic obviously these can be open to allow light and air in if we want to darken ourselves we can do or if we want them open and we don't want the insects in we can do that too how fantastic i think we'd need to be careful with those over time but uh, with a little care they should last for years and of course all the windows on this boat either have pull back pull down blinds as we just saw or the uh, the, the the venetian type here where, where we just unbutton and down they come and clasp onto here so we can get ourselves a, le a level of privacy and darkness in here lovely great lobby here for all the passage everyone to passage themselves around the boat etc over on the left hand side here we've got a forward facing nav station nice to see on a modern boat lovely seat for the navigator decent sized chart table we've got stereo controls battery monitoring stereo uh, sorry this is a fusion stereo kenwood stereo down here and you can see we have the electrics panel heating and ventilation there too lots of little cupboards all over the place a smattering of two 40 volt sockets around the boat which is absolutely great and just look at this thoroughfare so much room it's wonderful we have a great big saloon table in the middle of the uh, uh, of the saloon two big folding up leaves so uh, eating for everybody two big drawers underneath as well uh, keelboard access i uh, mentioned earlier over on the starboard side looking 
Everything from uh, uh, chest height downwards, a row of cupboards here. Lots of room in those for all of your bits and pieces. There we go, all lovely and clean. Fiddle shelf outboard, another port light with a, with a blind there as well. I'll just put the cushion into place, there we go. We have storage behind the seat backs. We have storage underneath here too. Great, stereo speakers in set two. And then over on the left-hand side of here, we have a sofa or a single berth. And behind there, we have battery charger, electrics, more storage, a fiddle shelf behind again, and another port light and more of those lovely shelves. All feels really lovely and contemporary. I guess that's because it is, because it is. we have the light upholstery, reasonably light wood, and all the light pouring in through the hatchways and windows. Absolutely lovely. And of course, really lovely and easy to keep nice and clean. No saggy headlinings here. <laughs> Moving forwards, we can see we have the compression post here. So uh, we'll go the other side of the forward bulkhead. That takes us to the forward cabin. Lovely, great big long bed, and it is nice and wide, nice and long. We're not tapering down into a triangle angle there or a tip so we're not fighting for toe space there twin windows uh, they don't open but they have blinds on we have a hatch up here for ventilation over on the right hand side here we've got a locker there we go hanging locker and shelving somewhere to sit and storage in there no doubt uh, more bilge access and another uh, cupboard behind there that's even bigger than the one i just showed you that has a fiddled shelf on top as well reading lights um fiddled shelves down the side under here underneath here we have the bow thruster machinery underneath here we have the i believe it's an unused cruising chute stored under there all very nice looking in great shape smelling great looking great this is a wonderful boat in my opinion moving forwards to the last compartment on the boat we can see we've got the heads this is the only head on board so if you're sitting there you'll be facing to starboard you'll be facing the watertight hatch that gives access to the outboard side of the engine we've got a a shower uh cubicle or shower divider here so we can get in the shower and not spray water absolutely everywhere lovely and uh, as you can see there we've got a proper shower with mixer taps etc behind here i feel is probably the holding tank to be confirmed and uh, if i just look look behind the door i'll just uh, take the elastic off there we can see we've got a good sink with handholds there uh, storage behind and above and a nice modern looking contemporary mixer tap how cool is that very very nice boat i'm in love with her already and uh, hopefully you will be too but uh, um, thanks for watching if you'd uh, if you like the look of her you can find lots more details at boatshedeastbourne.com where you'll find lots more pictures, videos and virtual reality. Thanks for watching. See you soon and have a great day.